What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 and I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend, and thanks for watching my video. All right, guys, we're going to do a little bit off-topic today, but something I thought might be interesting to, to uh, discuss and see what you guys thought about this. And this thought occurred to me um, when I went to the beach today, because those of you who watch my channel know I do the sun gazing. I've been doing that for about two years now. And uh, there are times when I just want to relax before I actually do the sun gazing. I'll park. I go to the beach, and it's also a wildlife preserve, and I like to go there a little bit early just to kind of relax and just kind of listen to the ocean a little bit before I go towards the beach and do the actual sun gazing. And uh, I was sitting in my car just kind of chilling out, just listening to the waves and just relaxing. And I saw about five or six deer just maybe 50 feet in front of me. Um, right where I was parked, and they were kind of playing around, and uh, just looked like they were having a great time. It was just beautiful to watch and very relaxing. And I re I realized something, and I want to know what you guys think about this because there I was to prepare to go out because it was definitely cold today. It was around 35 degrees, which is warm lately. But I mean, I had my jacket on. I had to be in a car to get where I was going, and I was still pretty much cold. And here we are, we have these wild animals that are just basically playing around like the weather doesn't affect them at all. And then I started thinking about all the different animals of this planet that, you know, adapt to wherever they are. I mean, you'll have polar bears that have extra layers of skin and have body fat to where they can actually hibernate at certain times. Uh, you have goats that can climb sheer cliffs and have specially uh, designed hoofs that can help them basically cling on to areas that no regular climber would dare climb. And it just makes me think about the fact, and I know this may even sound crazy, but you know, just because something may sound crazy does not mean there's not a possibility. But if you really think about it and hear me out with this, I, uh, it makes you wonder, are humans native to this planet, planet Earth. I mean, does it necessarily mean that we originated exclusively here? Now, as crazy as that might sound, because I know we're programmed to think there's no other possibilities and no other life outside of this planet. I mean, for centuries, we were the lone th thing alive in the universe, in an ever-expanding universe. And we were the center of the universe, according to the people who were trying to dictate what was going on. So I can understand that the program has been on for so long that we just assume that that's the case. Now, I'm not going to say either way, because obviously I wasn't there in the beginning to see where we came from. But if you really think about it, man is the only species on this planet that needs things like clothing, weapons. We have to create modes of transportation and we cannot really adapt to where we are. And if you think about it, for example, you have, like I said, polar bears. They can live in the Arctic. You have emperor penguins who will go an entire winter standing in the freezing cold without eating and survive. You have birds that obviously have the ability to fly. You have lions who have the ability to, with claws and the strength in their canines, to bring down an animal. And here we are as a human species, where if you took a human being, placed them in the woods with no clothes, and they were not allowed to put on any clothes, and were not allowed to use any type of weapon and could not be allowed to build any other shelter other than maybe burying yourself under leaves or finding a cave or a hole in a tree. And you had to fend for yourself by trying to bring down food with your bare hands and using your teeth to eat them, no cooking or nothing. I seriously doubt many people would ever live past a week let alone survive an entire lifetime. And so if you really think about it, in that aspect, since we're the only species, we're the only species that needs clothing to stay warm. We're the only species that needs 
an alternate mode of transportation to get somewhere. We're pretty much the only species on this planet that when we want to bring down an animal, we need tools to do it. In other words, you know, have you or I, or even the fastest runner on the planet, try and take down a deer with nothing more than their bare hands, rip it apart with it, their teeth and eat it raw. So it makes you wonder, were we native of this planet or somewhere along the line were we brought here? And again, I'm not saying I know either way, and I'm not saying that idea might not seem mainstream, but obviously the more we learn, we, the more we realize that mainstream doesn't necessarily mean that something is right, just because a bunch of people agree with something. And I've always been one of those people that likes to think outside the box. And to bring it even another step further, if you look at all the civilizations in history, pretty much almost every single one of them has some form of religion. And when you break down religion to its most basic form, they're worshiping some sort of god or gods. Now, the majority of these gods are not of this planet. They are from the stars. Well, by definition, that would mean that their gods were extraterrestrial because they're living off the planet. Another word for extraterrestrial would be an alien. So it could be something that a people could be reading into, or it might mean something. Because even if you read the Bible, there are many things that indicate talking about beings not from this planet. And as crazy as you hear the word aliens, somebody thinks, oh, that's ridiculous. Well, if you're praying to a god and you ask any child, where is God? What are they going to do? They're going to point up to the sky well, that's not Earth. So, extraterrestrial. And if you go by things like, for example, if you look in even in the book of Genesis, when they talk about, you know, creating man in our image, well, does that mean that there is more than one? Or when they talk about Adam and Eve and they say they're replenishing the Earth, well, if Adam and Eve were supposed to be the first humans ever created, how do you replenish the earth? Because replenish means you're starting over again, a do-over. So does that mean humans were here before? And if that's the case, then Adam and Eve were not the first humans. So I want to know what you guys think about this. I'm not going to make a, an incredibly long video, but absolutely think about it. You can take a deer and it doesn't need clothing. It doesn't need to have a car to get anywhere. It could lay down in the grass in the middle of the rain, in the middle of the winter, in the middle of the snow, and not only survive, but thrive and create a family. Just imagine a group of people with no clothes, no capacity to create fire, no weapons at all, no means of transportation, and not only surviving, but creating a family. Just imagine a baby being born in some tundra. And it makes you really wonder. I mean, if you look at it, we are supposedly, as a human species, we are meat eaters and plant eaters. So we're omnivores. Now, it makes you really think, are we really supposed to be carnivorous? Because if you look at any of the carnivores on the planet, they always have very long teeth, and usually tend to have fangs, which means they can bring down a predator and with their strength in their jaws and with the strength of their claws, they can tear open flesh and be able to consume it. I mean, we could take down deer by probably maybe just trapping one or seeing one that's sick or catching it off guard and maybe, God forbid, choking the life out of it. But just imagine trying to open your mouth to try and bite through deer hide with your teeth you most likely would probably shatter your teeth before you could ever rip through. So it makes you wonder, are we supposed to be carnivores? Because without knives and forks, without guns, without bows and arrows, without all the things that we've created, how would we have ever taken these animals down to be able to feed families without using clubs and without using our minds? And even if, if we were supposedly originating from this planet, then why is there not one other species on the planet that follows in our same way of thinking, in our same way? 
Because the closest things to us are chimps and apes. Well, they can use minor tools and they do use them at times, even when they're battling amongst each other. But you don't see them stitching clothing. You don't see them trying to create modes of transportation. And they basically live out in the wild and can survive and thrive for thousands of years. Now, you might get a few people that may be able to survive that way, but just imagine somebody shipping somebody off that way to the North Pole. They wouldn't last a day. So it might be something to think about. I would love to know what you guys think about it. And yes, there's going to be the people that are going to sit there and say, oh, that's absolutely crazy. Well, just because it's crazy doesn't mean it can't be a possibility. So I'm looking for people to discuss this with an open mind and stop and think about that. Because is the human species supposed to be on this planet when we can't really adapt without having clothing, without having transportation, without using tools? And if that's the case, then how could we really be native to the planet and be so different than everything else that's from here? Something to think about. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. So if you appreciate these kind of things and make you have an open mind and start thinking a little bit more and expanding your horizons as far as thoughts are concerned, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you think somebody else would appreciate this kind of topic. Let's hear what you have to say. And again, I'm not here to think that you have to agree with me. I'm not here for people to just yes me to death. If you disagree, that's absolutely fine. The only thing I ask for is to come up with something civil. Name calling and just making ridiculous comments like, oh, you're crazy, is not a way for us to have communication. And that's what I'm looking for here. All right, guys, let's all be adults and have a good discussion. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.